Okay, so here you go. You got the microphone here. Click the microphone, or if the microphone's click, choose the microphone. Then you're going to come to your tracks like this. I'm deleting the tracks. Then you're going to come up again with a new selection for a track. Your microphone. Click create. Okay. Here's your audio track. It's selected for you. I happen to leave this monitor on. Uh, the equalizer on just the way it is. Just leave it alone. Come here. There's a feedback button right here. Deselect feedback protection. There's an automatic volume right there. Automatic volume. Select automatic volume. That record level is now set to automatic volume. Up here on the track, I select the monitor right there the monitor boom this way you can hear what's being recorded up here in the, uh, this dock I come up here and I select time because I like to see time over here with these numbers instead of measures here is your monitor volume you keep that low if you connect it to an amplifier because then you will get feedback but I'm using headphones so I don't need to do that remember you come over here go to garage band preferences in here click the speaker and, and, and over here you're gonna adjust your input and outputs so your, your, your output should be going to a headphone mine's not connected right now you can select your headphone in here your built-in volume to the built-in input but that will be the input select your line input there you may have to go down here and select preferences in your computer where you have a speaker and you do the same thing here if necessary you come up with the same questions for input and output right there and you select what you want to select. Boom. Then all you do, and all you do is uh, with your cassette player or your record player, put it on, press your button, record, and da 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 da. You'll be recording your analog music to digital. That's how you do it.